Hello, third graders. Today we are going to read a poem called Guardian Angel. And if you look up here, you'll see this word that we talked about last week called genre. And a poem is a, is a genre of writing. And poems use colorful language to tell about ideas. Today we're going to read this poem, but I like to do a quick picture walk to notice the illustrations in our, in our passage that we're going to read. So look at our character. You can probably identify the setting of the poem by looking at the illustrations. On this page, you'll notice more illustrations. The character, his, his face has changed. And over here is our final page. There's only three short pages to our poem today. We are going to pay close attention to the words on the bottom of the page as well because good readers read the entire passage. Now we're going to read through it, but we're going to make some stops as we read through the passage this time and answer the questions down here and talk about the bolded words. Let's begin. Guardian Angel by Francisco X. Alarcon, illustrated by Jose Massey. Remember the illustrator is the person who drew the pictures. Let's begin. When I felt so sad and all alone, wanting to cry in the classroom. Up down here it says the guardian angel. What is a guardian angel? A kind, helpful person. Then over here it says, before you move on, one, we're gonna ask questions. What questions do you have about the speaker of the poem? Pause the video and in your notebook or on your paper, please answer that question. What questions do you have about the speaker of the poem? Write down any questions you might have about the speaker of the poem. Now that you've written your questions down, we're going to make a prediction. What do you think, what do you think will happen to help the speaker feel better? Go ahead and pause the video and write down your prediction in your journal or on your paper. What do you think will happen to help the speaker feel better? Okay, now that you've written down your prediction, let's turn the page. The girl seated next to me suddenly held my hand. In other words, suddenly means quickly. So the girl quickly held his hand. Then on this page, and with the darkest and most tender eyes I have ever seen, told me without a word, don't worry, you're not alone. So in other words, most tender means the kindest. So with the most kindest eyes. Without a word means without talking. She didn't say anything. And then down here, don't worry means do not feel sad. Before you move on, we're going to confirm our predictions. What happened to, the, to change the speaker's feelings? Pause the video and on in your journal or on your paper, answer that question. Confirm your prediction. What happened to change the speaker's feelings? Remember to answer in a complete sentence. Okay, now that you've answered your prediction question, let's look at question number two about the character. What is the girl like? How do her actions help the speaker? You're going to pause the video and in your journal or on your paper, answer that question. What is the girl like? What is this girl like? How do her actions help the speaker? What does she do to help the speaker? Pause the video and answer the questions. Then we'll go back and read the passage again. Okay, now that you've answered the questions, let's go back and reread. Good readers always can go back and reread their passages or their text. Guardian Angel. When I felt so sad and all alone, wanting to cry in the classroom, the girl seated next to me suddenly held my hand. Do you remember what suddenly means? And with the darkest and most tender eyes I have ever seen, told me without a word, don't worry. You're not alone. 